thanks for joining us this evening, everyone, uh, for today's uh, Interplay press conference featuring Salo Adia. Um, we will take one question at a time. Just a reminder to please keep the follow-ups until everyone else has um, had a go, and just keep your phones on silent as well. Um, and with that, we'll get straight on the way. Hi, Sol. Um, congratulations. Really good knock. The Thank day you. didn't start how you wanted it, obviously, with, with that um, spilled catch, but obviously <laughs> pleased to, uh, to, to have ended it with, you know, with what could be a really important innings. Yeah, um, obviously that spilled catch is not, not always planned, um, but that's, that's cricket. I think it can happen in the UK where the ball wobbles a bit. Um, but yeah, trying to, trying to really focus on my, my primary job as a, as a batter, um, and just yeah, trying to get our team off to a, a decent start with with a with a skipper. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think visualization is, is quite important just to kind of get you to to get used to the environment that you're going to be in, especially a place like, like Lords, which can be quite over overwhelming. Um, you know, you try to gather what type of energies the, the crowd's going to kind of give off. Um, and yeah, obviously, the, the bowlers that I'm going to face. Um, so you, you try to watch a lot of, a lot of videos and, and just kind of quieten your mind down um, you know when you when you watch those videos just so that you kind of take it in and yeah I suppose it's it's working nicely for me but I'm not going to get ahead of myself um, you know at the moment just like I said just focusing on on each innings um, you know and one ball at a time uh, I think that's the, most, the biggest the biggest and the most important part is just one ball at a time um, and one day at a time you know in test cricket I think we can get caught up in moments but if you stay in the moment, um, you know, as much as possible with one ball at a time, things usually go according to plan. Hey, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. Afternoon. Um, what do you think personally has improved from the morning until the late evening? Personally? personally. For me as a cricketer? Yeah, no, just for today's match itself. Um, sure, that's an interesting one. Um, I, I, th I think conditions conditions have gotten a what I felt like it got a bit trickier as the as the day went on in terms of it got a bit too paced uh, the wicket um, but otherwise things have been I mean scoring scoring was quite slow um, obviously after the rain uh, last night the outfield was quite heavy so you, you kind of take that out your mind and and just watch the ball and, and play it as intently as possible or intensely as possible Hello. Um, what's the news you've told all players that you have in the middle of the game in a row or that you contributed much to the score of the middle of the game? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, watching that, that little partnership with Kesh and, and Marku was, it just it gives you a bit more, um, a bit more energy. I think the, the change room started buzzing buzzing a bit more, um, which was lovely to see. I mean, guys are wanting each other to do well. Um, you know, that's what our team spirit's about. It's, it's not about each individual um, and, and what they're doing, but how they're contributing towards a team. And that's what we, that's what we want to see from the guys. Um, and we want guys to do well. Um, you know, that's, that's what team spirit's about. And I think we're in, a, we're in a good space at the moment with our team spirit and, and how we're pulling, pulling for each other. We've, we've, we've kind of committed to, you know, knowing your job and, and trying to do your job the best as possible. Um, you know, if you do that, usually, you know, a team click, clicks quite nicely and, and things fall into place. So it's, it's not really a case of, um, you know, one individual doing very well. Obviously, we'd love to get more hundreds, um, you know, in our, in our batting lineup. 
Um, but as long as we're trying to do the job as best as possible and committing to that, uh, you know, fully, 100%, um, you know, to your plan and your process, then, you know, if we're going to keep winning, um, you know, then so be it. Yeah, um, I think the slope does play does play its role um, at times, and we were very fortunate actually to play down um, in Canterbury uh, for you know that warm up game. And there's a little slope there as well, so it worked it worked quite nicely um, in our favour to be in those conditions for that amount of days we were down there. Um, and yeah, that's where you kind of figure out um, what, what can work for you as a batter um, at Lords. Um, obviously, the slope's not as, as, as hectic as Lords, but you can kind of um, set, set yourself some plans and, and line up differently. Um, yeah, so I think we were fortunate, fortunate enough to use Canterbury and uh, to figure out those things as overseas batters that have never played yet at Lords before. <coughs> Hello. Thank you. I I do have moments where I, where I kind of look around and I, and I go wow okay this is this is what it feels like um, but I think the the space that I'm in and the 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 time that I'm playing cricket for South Africa I'm trying to I'm trying to do my best as possible like I'm trying to I'm trying to really really stay in the moment and not not think about other things that can that can fill my mind. Um, so there are times where, you know, when you walk onto the field or you're walking, you got a drinks break or you're changing gloves, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll look around and I'll, I'll get a bit of a fuzzy feeling going, okay, this is home of cricket. Um, but I try to control my thoughts and, my, and my, my body as much as possible so that it doesn't overwhelm me because obviously it's a special place. Um, so, yeah, it's just ball for ball. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I knew what the, what they were going to try to do there, um, and I think the the lazy thing to do would be not just to to try duck the whole time um, and not to play because, like I said, some of the balls today it kind of like stuck in the wicket. Some of them skidded through a touch, um, so it was just trying to be aware as po as much as possible to try to play um, and then getting out the way or then um, swerving out the way and. Unfortunately, today I was just a touch, um, probably just a touch late on that one to to get out the way. Um, so it's just, I mean, it's one of those things. It's not a, it's not a train smash, but um, yeah, when you when you know what they're trying to do, um, you kind of have a clear clear plan. And sometimes it doesn't go to plan. Um, it's just one of those things. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I think, um, I mean, that can happen. That can happen. Um, a bowler's allowed to bowl well. They're allowed to take wickets. I mean, that's what they're there for. But, um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I think guys try to fight and do their job as, as well as possible. And um, you've got to back the next guy coming in 100% to, to kind of, you know, not just stay out there but also to keep the intensity um, and the energy up there to to take the fire to the bowler as well so yeah I, I was I mean obviously as a as a as a bat on the non-strikers end you 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 disappointed for for your for your partner but um, fully backing the guy coming in next to 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 deal with it <coughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we're in a good position at the moment. Um, you know, we're full of confidence. I think we've prepared well for, for this test. Um, so, 
you know, we've got to take that, that into tomorrow. Um, you know, we've got a bit of momentum with that partnership at the back end. Um, and obviously with one of our bowlers getting a Pfeiffer. Um, so if we, if we rock up again tomorrow, the same energy, um, we'll stay ahead of the game, I'm quite sure.